Uh, good morning, everybody. Thank you very much for coming. This is a very exciting day, something that um, we've been planning for a while. And um, my name is Ron Weisberger. I'm the uh, director of the Holocaust Center, along with Rex A. Penn, who is the, um, works for Upward Bound program here and also is the advisor to Asian Student Association. Um, <clears throat> we, uh, our Holocaust Center works to uh, deal, educate the public and ourselves about uh, the Jewish Holocaust, but also many, sadly, of other genocides that have occurred before and certainly after. And we are very pleased to help learn more about and educate all of us about you know a tragedy that happened in the 1970s with the Cambodian genocide. So this will be a very um, important day. And we have a number, you all have programs, so we have a, um, a number of programs uh, here, a number of parts of our program here. Um, just wanted to, uh, just before we start, because uh, thank a whole bunch of people and those, you can look on the back and we have sponsors of our program, particularly the uh, Jewish Federation of New Bedford, of course, Bristol Community College, and we have our president, uh, Jack Sprague, who will t talk to us in a minute. Uh, we have the Affirmative Action Committee of BCC, the Upper Bound Program, wonderful program, and the many in the Cambodian community have accessed it and have grown and learned from it. Uh, we have our Multicultural Committee, our Division of Humanities. Uh, we also wanted to thank uh, New York Bagels and Shaw's Supermarket and Unidine Corporation, which is our cafeteria for donating some of the goodies out there and hope you've already had some or you'll T take advantage of it during the break. Uh, we have a whole bunch of volunteers, I won't read all the names here, who are helping us outside. I particularly wanted to thank uh, I, my assistant, Linnell Dean, who is really responsible for so much of the organization, make sure everything is smooth, runs smoothly here. So, um, we want to start out uh, in a, for kind of focus ourselves by um, having a, uh, a short ceremony, um, I want to introduce Seng Kun, who is going to be a translator for um, Sofan Ken, who is the monk in charge of the Buddhist temple on Highland Avenue. We're very pleased that he was able to join us and start our day on the right foot. So I want to introduce Mr. Uh, Kung. Or you can do it from there, I guess. Okay, so um, good evening, everybody. Uh, not good evening, sorry. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> good morning, everybody. He's going to explain a little bit what's um, going to happen. On behalf of Cambrian people, I would like to say thank to um, Mr. President and Vice President uh, and all your leagues for providing this um, facility and uh, to make this event happen today. And also, I would like to say thank to Mr. Matnaman, uh, Mr. Um, Rax Maipan, and uh, everybody here, that, um, especially the organizer and the supporter, for inviting me to come to be a part of this event. Um, our job today, we just come you know, to pray um, for uh, all the Cambodian people who work here in the Pol Pot regime at that time, and also we pray for um, the people who work here around the world too. And we are going to bless um, the organizer or the supporter of this event or everybody to come here to join this event. So please take this moment and to join with us. Okay, we're going to start to pray now. Nya mo ta sabwe ta ngar hat 
ตสัมมาสัมปทะสนโมตัสสะกะเวตาอรหัตาสัมมาสัมปทะสนโมตัสสะกะเวตาอรหัตาสัมมาสัมปทะสัหะวิจิปัจจยะสังขารสังขารปัจจยะเวเนียนังเวเนียนาปัจจยะเนียมรูปังเนียมรูปปัจจยะสลายตนนังสลายตนาปัจจยะภาสาภาสาปัจจยะเวทเนียเวทเนียปัจจยะตนาหาตนาปัจจยะอุปาทิยนังอุปาทิยนาปัจจยะภวภวะปัจจยะเจตเจตาปัจจยะเจริมรณังสาวกปรเตวโตกโตมนัสปัสสะสัมภวันเดเอวเมตาสเกวลาสตุขาคันเทสสมุทโยหันเตอวิจิเยทเวะอสเสวิรีกันเนโรเทสังขารเนโรโทสังขารเนโรเทเวเยนเนโรโทเวเยนเนโรเทเนมรูปเนโรโทเนมรูปเนโรเทสลายตนเนโรโทสลายตนเนโรเทภาสเนโรโทภาสเนโรเทเวตเนียเวทเนียนโรเทตันหานโรเทตันหานโรเทอุปาเตียนนโรเทอปาเตียนนโรเทภวนโรเทภวนโรเทเจตนโรเทเจตนโรเทเจริญมรณังสาวกับประเทวตกตะมณะสภายาสานิรจันเดเอวเมตาสเกวลาสตกขาขันเทสนิรุทโธหังเตนะจาวัตสังขาราโอปาตวิยธรรมโนโอปาเจตวานิรจันติเตสังโวปัสมาสกขาเจรังวัตยังกายาปัตวังอติเสสัจเจโทอเปตวิญญาณนาวนิรัตถังวัคลังแกรังอายุสมาเจวิญญาณนางยติยกายังจะหันเตมังอภวัตโทตติเสนนิรัตถังวัคลังแกรังจยันตอปฏิยโมเลสัจยานางนันเดวตโนเอวังทวังวิจโยหาวหิจยาสิจยมังเกเลอปราจิตปาลังเกสัยเสปตวิปาวกเรอภิเสเกสัพพุเทนังอากาปาตาปมาดิตสนาคาตังสมังกัลังสัพพีตังสหัตตังสกนาสมหัตตาจุสยัตถามพระมาจารสัพพีอากนังกายกามังเวจากามังปฏิอากนังปฏิอากนังมโนกามังปณิธิเตปฏิอากนาปฏิอากนาในกาตวานลพันตัดเทมปฏิอากนาบุวะตุสัพพมังกัลังมังโกตุปวนโจมีตอนเนรรักขันุสัพปเตวตาทรงเตวตาจึงออกใบใบระสาเนเนสัพปฏิทียนภิเวเนตายอานภิเบในประปฏิมจารอประองสัพปธรรมีอนภิเวเนตายอานภิเบในประทอถึงปวงสัพปสังเขียนภิเวเนตายอานภิเบในประสังถึงปวงสติสาวไทยพวันตเตสุสไดจังลายเจมีนตอนเนอายบานสับกาสัพเวลีสัพสัพสัพสัมจุนเมฆพอลจอมโตเตาดอลเมียตาใบดานิคุณครูอปชีเยจาคนเยเตกาปรามปีสันดานจีดอนจีตารอนในกระไดนาลมจ่าใจทานสมจุนเมฆพอลเกาสอดกันกาสมศกเซมสารตาทานพัดตงเตวีกรตวานิเวทยงสัพเพโลกามเยสัตตาจีวันตาหาระเหตกามโนยังโพชนังสัพเพลปันตุมมเจตสัตเตสุวิดันเพลงสุ right now just give this opportunity to just to you and then okay Thank you very much. I think this is a really important way of of focusing on the day. Um, by the way, I wanted to also welcome. We have students from Durfee High School 
the Freedom Riders program, and I think Kurt Ustrak is their advisor, so we're really happy to have them here, uh, along with everybody else, of course. Um, so I'd like to introduce now um, someone who's a great supporter of uh, the um, well, everything at the college, certainly our Holocaust Center and uh, Asian Student Association, uh, Dr. Jack Sprague, who would like to say a few words of welcome. Oh, I, I, someone left. <laughs> someone left an iPhone on the um, where the uh, bagels and coffee. So if you're missing one, please go and get it. It's at the registration desk. Thank you. <clears throat> Well, thank you, Dr. Weisberger, <clears throat> and welcome everyone to Bristol Community College. It is really a thrill uh, for us to host such an important event. Uh, it's something that uh, uh, we do frequently, uh, and uh, as we move into the community, uh, I always say community is our middle name at Bristol Community College, and we make our uh, resources available to the community for important topics such as this. Uh, I also want to thank uh, Dr. Weisberger and the Holocaust uh, Center that we have. Uh, as he mentioned, we started with uh, uh, the World War II uh, tragedy uh, uh, through coursework and honors work, uh, but now we're expanding. And uh, unfortunately, uh, there I say unfortunately because there are other topics uh, to be considered under the general uh, heading of, uh, of our whole, uh, general mission of our Holocaust Center. Uh, just the other day, uh, we had uh, two professors come and speak about the uh, flood of uh, Syrian refugees and Middle Eastern refugees. Uh, that is a topic that I highly recommend uh, that we look further into and perhaps uh, provide more information sessions about. One of the professors is a native of Jordan and the other is a uh, former uh, U.S. government immigration official. And the, their experiences uh, that they described what the floods of uh, refugees are doing to the various countries because the countries are trying to, heroically trying to absorb uh, the refugees. Uh, uh, but again, uh, it, it's just overwhelming. Um, there are... Uh, just, it's just too much to, to take into consideration. Um, so, um, uh, one thing that has struck me as a Vietnam veteran is that uh, um, uh, wars seem to be uh, something that are, it's easier to get into than get out of. And uh, I think we see that happening in uh, Southeastern Asia uh, since, what, the 1950s. Uh, perhaps before that, uh, part of my graduate work as opposed to my military work was to study uh, the colonialism in Southeast Asia and the history of it. And it's not a sad, it's not a, it is a sad story. It's not a, uh, not a very bright story uh, for, uh, to be, to be uh, looked at. Um, so there are unintended consequences. Uh, uh, yes, I think uh, Dr. Weisberger and the World War II Holocaust might have some just innate evilness about it, uh, but for the most part, I think, at least it's my opinion, that uh, kind of unintended consequences occur uh, uh, on these uh, decisions to go to war. Uh, and we saw, we see today, unintended consequences of what seemed to be a, uh, perhaps a benign or a noble cause to uh, start it out with uh, uh, freeing Kuwait from, uh, from uh, an invasion, uh, and then things blossomed, if you will, if that's the right word, but mushroomed uh, uh, after that until we have the situation that we have today with hardly a good end in sight, is there? There's not uh, I mean, a good prospect of how this is all going to come to uh, a calming. Uh, I don't know if we'll ever have a calming. And the same thing happened in, uh, in uh, uh, World War II. Uh, you see people, you still see people walking around with uh, tattoos on their arms and uh, terrible stories, uh, uh, if not themselves, uh, about their families and uh, ancestors and the, wonder, uh, the, the, the 
things that had to happen, the horrific uh, things that happened to them. Uh, so, that, so it's kind of living history. And then moving to uh, the Middle East, as I mentioned, we, uh, all of these, uh, all of these uh, refugees and the unsettled political nature of, uh, of what's spreading throughout the, uh, throughout the whole region, uh, it makes us pause and gives us pause to wonder how we can uh, cope with it. And so today, uh, to bring it back to Southeast Asia, we have uh, uh, a terrible situation that we're providing historical information about, uh, and we want to uh, shed light on what happened in those uh, terrible years in the 1970s uh, and uh, see they're not over yet, right? The repercussions uh, still are with us. So uh, all the more highlighting the important work at Bristol Community College in general, and we have Bristol Community College students here as well, and I thank the Durfee students for coming and all of you for coming from the community but in BCC in general, but the Holocaust uh, Center in particular, uh, we have our work cut out for us in bringing information. That's our job, that's what we do, uh, and bring information to light uh, and uh, uh, analyze and, uh, and explain and try to stay away from political uh, opinions, uh, per political perspectives, uh, uh, more to what what you know what the situation is. Too often we see this, and we see it in our own presidential campaigning today, uh, in this day and age, uh, where things can kind of get off the rails. So unintended consequences are uh, something that uh, we need to uh, keep in mind. Much easier to get into a war, as difficult a decision as that is, as to see uh, see what the end, what the outcome would be. Um, and uh, I'm looking forward to this discussion today and the uh, uh, work of the Holocaust Center and bringing this to you. And I hope that we'll have a chance for uh, discussion uh, among the community members as well as the presenters. So I look forward to that. And uh, again, I thank you very much for coming. And I'm going to turn it back over to Dr. Weisberger. Thank you.